Hi guys! You know how much I love making DIY bath products and my kids' current favorite is solid bubble bath or bubble bars. We bought one at Lush a couple months ago and ever since Lincoln's been obsessed. So today I'm going to show you guys a great recipe so you can make these at home. Here's what you'll need to get started. Our dry ingredients are baking soda, cornstarch, cream of tartar, and SLSA. And our wet ingredients are liquid glycerin, castor oil, a scented or essential oil, and soap coloring or food coloring. We're going to begin by combining our dry ingredients, starting with a cup of baking soda, half a cup of cream of tartar, a quarter cup of cornstarch, and our final dry ingredient is one cup of SLSA. You'll probably have to purchase this online and make sure you get SLSA and not just SLS, which is a product I like to stay away from in bath recipes. It may be a little cloudy when you first pour it in, so if you're sensitive, make sure you cover your face or wear a face mask. And then give it a good mix until all the powders are well incorporated. Now we're ready for our wet ingredients. First is a half a cup of liquid glycerin. You can find this at any drugstore. One eighth cup of castor oil. You could also use coconut oil, olive oil, or pretty much any carrier oil. And I'm going to finish it off with my favorite cotton candy flavored fragrance. You can also add any essential oils in at this time as well. And then begin to mix. Once it starts to clump together, you can continue mixing with your hands. Continue kneading until there's no lumps and you have a smooth dough-like consistency. Now we're ready to add our color. I've divided the mixture into three separate bowls so that we can make different colors, but if you were just making one color, you could add it with your wet ingredients. And then knead in the color with your hands. You can see I'm using gloves because it can stain your hands, but it does come off pretty easily. This part can take a minute, but it's actually really fun to play with. Now we're ready to shape our bubble bars. Place each of your colors on a piece of parchment paper or a non-stick surface. You can keep the colors separate or mix them together like I'm doing here. Then flatten it out with your fingers or a rolling pin until it's a half an inch to an inch thick. Most of the tutorials I've seen actually layer the colors and then roll them into a log. I found this process to be really tedious though, so I'm gonna be using cookie cutters. You can continue mixing the scraps to create more of a swirl effect. Leave them to dry overnight and you're all done. And that's it, these guys are ready for a bubble bath. Break off small pieces and crumble it under the water and then hop in the tub. These unicorn bubbles are amazing. This is definitely Lincoln's most requested bath time edition. Do you like my hat? And I think a lot of the fun was that we had made them ourselves. These make the perfect gift or party favor and you can customize them to any theme. They also cost a fraction of the price of store-bought bubble bars if you make them in bulk. All right, guys, I hope you'll give these a try. They really make bath time so much fun. Tell me in the comments below what other DIYs you'd like to see this summer, and we'll see you next Friday. Bye, guys.